All right, everybody, welcome back to the Sooner Sirs. Today we have a special guest joining us from the 23 class, Heath Ozida. Man, thanks for joining us today, Heath. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, so just kind of want to hear about your, your story, your, you know, and kind of how you got to where you are today. I know you play football and basketball, but just kind of tell us a little bit about you. Yeah, I mean, so I started playing football uh, third grade. Uh, I mean, uh, and I just fell in love with it ever since then. Kept playing, and then I moved. I lived in Oklahoma, born in Oklahoma, then moved to California when I was about eight years old, and then moved up here to Washington for high school, uh, joined Mount Star football, and I've just been enjoying it ever since. Yeah, so you're, so you're six, six, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you, is it Snoqualmie? Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, Snoqualmie. Okay, Snoqualmie. So six, six, uh, offensive lineman. Um, I know you were, uh, recruited heavily by a lot of West Coast uh, schools, uh, a lot of yeah. offers from them. Uh, and I knew you had been born in Oklahoma. So just kind of tell us, I, I know you committed very early when, when you made that official visit. Just what was it about mm-hmm. Oklahoma that, that just uh, led you to that early commitment? Yeah, I mean, it's always a school I was, I was interested in. Um, I mean, the big thing was uh, just kind of being down there. Uh, I saw you coach Beanbow for a little bit, and then he invited me down. We just got tutored of everything, talked to him, sat down, talked to Coach Levy, talked to everybody. And it's kind of, it was kind of felt right. It felt like home. Uh, it felt like where I wanted to be. So it was, I kind of just knew that's where I wanted to go. And I mean, that also just a big school, great history. Like joining the SEC, that's super big for me. I want to go to the league. So like having that level of competition and that uh, is something that's super important to me. And I kind of wasn't really getting that from my other offers. And I think that was also part that put into it. For sure. Yeah, for sure, Heath. So, um, what are some? If you had to pick out three things that stood out about OU, what would you choose mm-hmm. and why? Three things. I mean, I think the biggest thing is just like the coach of the people, like the culture there. Like, what Coach Venables was like creating there, super, super special. I mean, we sat down and talked a lot of times. Like, he, super smart man, super great man. Like, I just love everything he's trying to do down there. Uh, I mean, the, like the. Uh, I mean, the competition I'm going to get, uh, the coach I'm going to get is um, the best in the country, like Coach Beanbow. I can't get – I don't think I'll get developed better anywhere else. And just, like, the fans – like, the fans are part of it, just, like, the culture there, just – it's huge. I love it. Yeah, so um, in Brent Venable's, like, signing day press conference, he, he compared you to Bam Bam in the Flintstones and stuff. And Jeff Levy said you bring great position versatility – so, like, uh, for those who, like, are kind of unaware, when you come to OU, like, what positions along the offensive line and all that, like, do you see yourself playing? Uh, I mean, I, hopefully I'm going to say left tackle. That's where I, I feel natural. I feel like I'm an athletic guy for my size. I feel like I can move good. Uh, that's kind of where I'm, I'm seeing myself is playing tackle, left or right. I mean, but, and honestly, I'll go anywhere. Like, I'll play wherever they want to put me. I just want to get in the field. Yeah, I mean – Left tackles, Trent Williams. I think he's your favorite player, right? Mm-hmm. You got Trent yeah, Williams, well, Lane Johnson. I mean, you got some big tackles at OU that have that have performed well. So that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Heath, you've been committed to OU for over six months now, now signed in this twenty three chosen class. What's your relationship like with the other guys in the class? Yeah, I mean, uh we talk we talk on social media a good amount. Uh my, my visits, I got the pleasure of meeting a lot of the guys. Like, just ch- chopping up with them has been really nice. And my official, I mean, I went, it was me and Josh. We had the same hosts. So, we hung out for a few days. It was nice to meet him. Uh, and then I got Josiah Wagner up here with me. Mm-hmm. Uh, we played each other, so that was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. We got to talk to him for a while. He was also down there on that official weekend, so we hung out a little bit. But we're definitely getting real close, I think, with me and everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Do you have any relationships with any current players on the team? Yeah, both the Jakes on the offensive line, those are, those are my guys. They, I mean, they hosted me and Josh and our official. We, uh, I mean, we hung out a lot. They're, they're really nice guys. Uh, it's kind of, I met a lot, a lot of people uh, on my official. is kind of where I made a lot of my relationships. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, for so- sure. And then also, have you heard any Schmitty stories from any of the players yet? Uh, so we were actually like, I think it was like last year, a couple weeks ago, 
we are in our recruit group chat. We we're talking, and they were all the guys that were there for practice were like, "Yeah, we got workouts at five thirty in the morning," and they're talking about the run they're gonna do, and they're just all dreading it. So that was funny, but mostly it's been positive. It's been like he's, I mean, he'll he'll push you, but he's not gonna like do anything that's like, he's not just gonna run you to run you. Like it's gonna be like it's all intentional. And yeah. I mean, everyone I said, just like, he's super positive. Like he, he'll get after you, but it's not like you suck. It's like, you got to do this. Like he'll, he's really like encouraging. And that's something that I think is super great in a strength coach. Yeah. I mean, you hear, you hear the guys that are in the NFL that had him as their strength coach and they're just all like, what he's doing is for the betterment of you as an individual yeah. to get to that next level. So that's awesome. Um, yeah. I would imagine six, six, uh, I don't, I don't know what your weight is, but to be able to play basketball too, you got to be pretty dang athletic. And so Mm -hmm. I imagine your footwork and everything is really great. So uh, how is the basketball and football thing? Do you, do you you just, have you done both since like third grade? Is that kind of something you've always done? Yeah. So, I mean, I grew up playing basketball. I was kind of on and off. I played middle school. Then when I got here, I stopped for a while, which I'm now I'm regretting to be honest. Uh, It's kind of scared. I mean, I had an ankle injury sophomore year. I didn't kind of after the football season, I didn't want to, reheard it and like kind of just risk anymore so I kind of stopped and this year I picked it back up it's definitely like it made me a lot more like a better athlete overall like different movements guarding a lot faster guys than usually seen the d-line I think it like the defense and basketball translates super well so I think that's helped me and then just being around I mean our basketball team is the best in the state so being around other athletes has just always been special. yeah for sure um so whenever you get to OU do you have any players you're looking forward to competing against the most? Maybe that that could be a practice or in game and or a team that you want to compete against the most. In practice, uh, for the team, I mean Texas is always a is always someone you're going after. That's always you mark them on your schedule. And then other team I'm excited to play is definitely like Tennessee. I've heard, I've heard like stories about their stadium and just how loud it is and kind of the environment I kind of thrive off that just like kind of hostile environment I always like play my best games in that so I feel like that's gonna be a lot of fun yeah so how is it now like you've been committed for a while and now it's time like you're getting ready here in a couple months to actually go to OU so kind of how is that yeah it's definitely like surreal like just being like it's really coming up I mean I can't wait uh I'm so excited for it but it's definitely, I mean, I'm signed now. It's official. It's on paper. It's, I mean, it's really exciting. I don't know if Hunter's cutting out. Am I good now? Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Hey, uh, I was going to ask you, uh, how how much were you into that game last night, Seahawks? You're, you're, you're a Seattle fan? I was edging my seat. I was watching it in my room, actually, my girlfriend. But it was, oh, man, we were. I mean, I see that 49 stuff in the background. I'm, I'm ready. Yeah, we, we, we're on all the smoke. We got a we got a good team. We got our entries are gone. We got healthy guys. It's gonna be a good game. But it's kind of crazy that they've had the year they had with Russell Wilson leaving and stuff. Oh yeah, and it's just been nuts. And the, especially yesterday with the Packers. I mean, just everyone oh, kind of thought Detroit was gonna lay down. But... I mean, Aaron Rodgers is, is, hasn't lost at home. In, I think it's like December, January, like ever or something crazy. But I mean, I was so excited. We were, I mean, everyone here is just hyped about it. And I mean, I heard people saying we're going to go like one and 16 or whatever, but I'm so hyped that we're where we're at. Uh, the future. Have you been to a game there. there? Not this year. I wanted to really badly, but I just couldn't really find the time. And yeah, but we used to, when I was in California, we would come up every, every year for a game. I won a game last year. It's, I mean, I love it. It's an awesome stadium. Oh yeah. Hey, I, uh, I, 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 watched- I saw something on Twitter like, Hunter, you can go ahead. I've watched a few of your interviews, and you've mentioned Zach Bryan as being one of your favorite artists. Uh, what's your favorite Zach Bryan song? Recently, something the orange always hits a little different. I think it's it's like it's always just I don't know, but like just the the beat of it. I think it always hits. Yeah. Um... So you mentioned you grew up or grew up in Oklahoma. Did you go to a lot of OU games when you were younger? I think I saw something like a picture of you at OU game when you were younger. I think I saw that. Yeah, Twitter. we would go. We, I think we had season tickets when I was younger. I mean, 
my grandparents went there. We went, we, we went to a good amount, yeah, because we were, we were close. We were Edmund. So, yeah, we went to a good amount. Hey, Hunter. Uh, hey, uh, he. Oh. What was it? Were you. Me and my siblings, we were. I mean, they were back in town from college. We were watching Wipeout. Like a show back when we were kids. We were, it was just funny. We were all just sitting there watching that show. That's the one where they do the crazy th- stunts and stuff. They're yeah, jumping like big, big balls. Yeah. yeah, and the big balls they jump across. It was just hilarious. It looks like yeah. this British version. It was, it was so funny. Yeah, the announcers are funny on that too. Yeah. Yeah, so tonight's the national championship, TCU, Georgia. Who do you got in that game? I'm hoping TCU. That's who I'm. I'm, I'm in Big Twelve. I'm, I'm bringing for him, but I just feel like Georgia's just kind of unstoppable right now. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, it's a good game. That's all I'm. I'm I yeah, care I hope about, it's a good so. game. I mean, I want that Max Duncan Dun- story. Like, I mean, I, I want them to win so bad, and I'm pulling for them hard. But yeah, uh, I just yeah, think me too. Georgia might pull away with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Heath, man, we really do appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to join us. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, just really looking forward to your career at OU, man. Yeah. So thanks again. Yeah, yeah thank you. Guys. Thank you. All right, man. Boomer. Peace.